imagine that every time you read something, the words move, shimmer, jump, flip, or slide around on the page. Do you find it difficult to read when it's distorted like this? Do you feel disoriented? Do your eyes or your head hurt? For someone suffering from visual stress, reading from print, a smart board, or a computer screen can look a lot like this. How do we recognize if what we are experiencing is related to visual stress? There are commonly reported signs that a child or adult may exhibit when they are suffering from visual stress. Parents or teachers may notice these signs in a child's behavior when they read or do homework. Do they rub their eyes often and seem tired? Do they squint or turn their head sideways as if trying to find a better position to see from? Do they lose their place often and need to follow with a ruler or their finger? Is writing uneven and poorly spaced? Do they avoid bright lights and prefer low light or natural light? Do they appear distracted, frustrated, or restless? Do they fidget? Do they avoid reading or doing their homework altogether? I have a really hard time at school. Words move around when I read. The smart board flashes and vibrates. It's really hard to concentrate. The music lines were wavy and the notes bounced around. It was really hard to play my songs right. I thought everyone saw like that. If any of this seems familiar to you, your child or someone you know, it could mean that they are suffering from visual stress. These signs indicate that there is a visual problem, but is it a problem of the eyes, of the neurovisual functioning, or both? A visit to an eye care professional is recommended in conjunction to a visual stress assessment. Visual stress may still continue after refraction correction. This is because visual stress is not a problem of the eyes. It is a neurological condition. Visual stress occurs when visual stimuli such as patterns, contrast, light or flicker triggers the hyperexcitement of the visual cortex. This negatively affects brain function and results in symptoms of physical discomfort and perceptual distortions. Okay, I'll put that away. Symptoms of the perceptual distortions are most commonly reported in four categories. First is the instability of text, where letters, words, or whole pages of text swirl, blur, flip, or warp. Also common are illusions of light and color, where flashes or ribbons of color and lights appear on the page and throughout the field of view. Sensitivity to light is often reported. Any bit of reflection or glare is exaggerated and appears brilliant and difficult to look at. And finally are depth perception difficulties. Individuals may be clumsy, poor at ball sports, or have difficulty with balance. Together, all of these distortions can also lead to motion sensitivity. With my glasses, I'm not disoriented and I can keep my position on the field. Visual stress is present in about 20% of the population, but is more common in individuals identified with specific learning disabilities, ADHD, or autism spectrum disorder, as well as individuals suffering from photosensitive migraines or epilepsy. Visual stress can be acquired as the result of drug interactions, medical conditions that affect brain function, or from trauma following injury, concussion, whiplash, or stroke. You may be wondering, why you've never heard of visual stress or why your optometrist, eye care specialist or learning specialist has not heard of visual stress. Well this is understandable because the research into the condition, the definition of the condition and the overall understanding of that visual stress is neurological is relatively new. In Britain alone there are over 500 community optometrists and hospitals using specific processes to identify and prescribe assistive tools to alleviate the symptoms of visual stress. The condition of visual stress and use of these tools is supported by over 4,000 U.S. school districts. In addition, there are over 150 specialized screening clinics worldwide. Together, these groups have helped over 1 million people to date. Since 2011, all special education teachers in the UK are trained to identify visual stress, and over 50% of the teachers use tinted overlays in their classrooms as assistive tools for students with reading difficulties. Color filters, specially tinted to neutralize the individual's specific neurological triggers, are available as overlays, glasses, clip-ons, and contact lenses. 
Just because these symptoms in children are more noticeable does not mean that they are the only ones affected. Adults can also suffer from visual stress. When my son started to wear his glasses, we noticed some significant improvement in his schoolwork and his grades. Then my daughter was tested. She now wears her glasses at school and for activities or sports that require depth perception, such as biking. I can now read longer and I have fewer headaches and migraines. So how do we identify visual stress? First, by asking the right questions, and the answers may surprise you. Too bright. Can you explain too bright to me? What does it do? There's like a light under the page. So like a light is shining from behind through the text? Yes. Okay. So does the page hurt your eyes, or does it feel okay? It hurts my eyes. And when you look at the page, do you see colors or any other movement? Um, colors. Colors? What colors do you see? Um, gold. Gold. Gold, shiny gold or matte gold? Flat gold, like? Shiny gold. Like jewelry? Yes. Okay. And is this gold moving? Show me on the page what it's doing. Like that. Like that. Like that. And are they moving or are they all just sitting there? Moving a little. Okay. So I'm going to try putting some colors on the page on top, and you tell me if it makes it look better or worse. Worse. Okay. How's that one? No. no. So you still see the gold lines? Yeah. Okay. And how about this color? No. no? Too bright. Too bright? Okay. And now this color. The gold lines aren't there anymore, and I can see clear. So no more movement, no gold no. lines? No more. Good. The results may vary. However, most people who suffer from visual stress will notice an immediate reduction in their symptoms when using the overlays, glasses, or even colored paper. This effect will usually last a lifetime, but may change as the brain changes through puberty, childbirth, menopause, or other effects on the brain. The process that is used is colorimetry, an established process with specifically designed tests that help the individual select the color that works best for them and reduces their symptoms. We measure the effects of patterns, contrast, light, and color on a person's visual and perceptual symptoms. The screening process follows the clinical protocol published by the Association of Optometrists in the United Kingdom. This assessment is performed by trained professionals using a standardized set of tests and takes approximately an hour to complete. Ultimately, Canadian optometrists, educational psychologists, and other health professionals will be aware of visual stress, will have access to the tools and equipment to screen for visual stress, and be able to provide the specialized filters required to their clients and patients. For more information on visual stress, screenings, or how you can incorporate screenings into your optometry practice, special education department, tutoring business, or rehabilitation service, feel free to call or visit our website. <laughs>